Towards the inside, Kasha and Atasha right there. Almost third early on, Cassie O'Malley in the yellow silks is moving around to get into a prominent position. Alice Springs in the white silks with the red cap also right there in the early vanguard. Future Fantastic, Brown Sugar's around runners. Sabaha, in other words, giving the leaders six and seven length start. Trini's Collaterals around them. Lola is the trailer and drops anchor. There's nine lengths top to tail. Red Blinkers of Latasha, carting them along by a length and a half. Cassie O'Malley's in the yellow silks. On the right is Alice Springs. The favourite, Ulmer, green cap towards the inside. A share of that third position now, only a neck between her and Alice Springs. Brown Sugar Casher, they got six and seven lengths to make up. On the outside, Future Fantastic Sabaha, Trini's Collateral, in other words, has got 10, 11 lengths to make up. Out in front, Latasha's looking to run them ragged by two or three. Alma now heard the call, the green cap towards the inside. Alice Springs on the outside. 300 to go, Latasha. Here comes Alma with a big run down the center. And Alma now explodes into action. She goes clear by two, three lengths. Lola Brown Sugar, but the night belongs to Alma. This is Bullseye. Lola second, you're picking behind that, Cassie O'Malley involved for photos, the minor positions, but from 7 to 2, down 15 to 10, Alma, she rises up for the Frank Robinson stable, and Ian Sturgeon, poetry in motion. Well, Ulmer opened up 7-2 to two and comes gliding through. Most of the country would have got on Ulmer and Ian Sturgeon, Frank Robinson. She just came gliding through at the 300-meter marker. Lola second, Cassie O'Malley just ahead of Brown Sugar. Latasha's on the inside and in other words... Trini's Collateral, Future Fantastic. The Flamboyant Stakes, Grade 3, and look left. Here's Ulmer, the daughter of Dynasty, and she's got gears. Ian Sturgeon now galvanized her into action, and she just draws away from the opposition. She looked a good thing, and she comes through to oblige. Number one, Ulmer, bred by the Shevely Stud. 450,000 ran by for the Biffobs. Frank Robinson's done a sterling job, and Ian Sturgeon has done the rest. Back to the studio. Well, we've just seen the running of the grade three, grade three flamboyant stakes and Olma has really put this field to bed with a devastating turn of foot at the top of the stretch. And this is a filly who I don't think Frank's got to the bottom of yet. She is a, a real superstar. I've got Baba Noonan, one of the directors of Gold Circle, here to hand out the prize. But let's speak to Frank first. Frank, superb performance. Yeah, look, she, she doesn't make it easy for herself. You know, I've been at the back all night and she sweats up and she worries and she got a bit worked up, so a little bit nervous, but that's just her, you know. And I always felt as a four-year-old, you only can see the best of her. You know, she's, she, she's a three-year-old, she's very light and she was, you know, she was battling with the work, but she's matured nicely now and I think she's got a, a few more good wins in her. I remember when you bought her, Frank, we were talking just after you bought her and a few, come, a few guys came up to you and said, oh, you bought this dynasty, but I didn't like her. And I remember thinking, well, Frank likes her. You know what happened? When I bought her, um, I never had to x-ray anything. And uh, after the sale, actually, Maze Roberts came to me and said, no, nah, she's got cysts in her staff. And I said, well, I can't, talk, I, I can't talk Russian very well, so there's no hope in me telling the Russians she's got a cyst in the staff. Well, <laughs> so she's coming home, um, yeah. And, yeah. She's, and she's the soundest filly I've got, you know. She's never unsound ever. How good is she? No, I've always rated her highly. That's why I went for all those features with her. But you know what I think left? I don't think she stays. I was going for Oaks's and races yes. like that. This was a mile. You see, she travels too well. And, then, and the tongue ties made a big difference. The last three, three runs had a tongue tie on. And she settled better. And that's why she's quick and better. 
So, so would you look at the winter season here? Yeah, probably. She needs a bit of a, I think I'll give her a rest now, because she takes quite a lot out of herself, you know, she's a bit of a muck sweat in that, but uh, yeah, no, she's still got a lot more to come. Well, Baba Noonan's got an award for you. Uh, well done, a memento. Well done. And while we're here, Frank, Mr. Biffov's not here. Can we please get the owner's one for Frank as well? And well done to Mr. Biffov. This is uh, a man who has supported Frank, and Frank's turned out some very decent horses from over the years. Thanks very much, Frank. Yeah, no, obviously I just want to thank Aslan and, uh, you know, Rustland. They're watching in Moscow, so I'm very happy for them. Moscow. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Nice. Let's talk to Fish next. Well done, Fish. You, you, you know this, uh, this filly. You've got an affinity with her. And uh, she blew them away today. She did, Miss Laff. You know, the weight, she was hard to beat. And uh, all I had to do was just switch her off behind him. And, you know, she pulled me up the hill, which, you know, I don't like them to do that. But uh, she was just cruising into the straight. And she just, you know, she ran away from her field really easily. When I asked her for the extra, it was all there. Excellent. Well, Babu's got a uh, memento for you as well. Well done. Thanks very much to Mr. Biffoff. You know, I went to, uh, to Russia for him a couple of years ago and uh, you know, we ran second in a grade two. At least we got the group three under. We, we've got the grade two with Antius as well. Hopefully we can keep going like that. Thank you, Mr. Biffoff. Well done. Cheers. Right, and uh, we've also got for the winning groom and that's uh, Enoch Magaga. If Enoch will come in here. Well done, Enoch. We've got okay. uh, a winning uh, check for you, I believe. This is Enoch Magaga who looks after Alma. Okay. Th thanks very much to Enoch and uh, well done to Mr. Biffoff, well done to Fish Sturgeon and well done to Frank Robinson and uh, this is a, a, a superstar of a filly. I really think that she's going to make her present felt as a four-year-old. Well done to Breeders and uh, let's hope uh, we see her win a big one over the winter season.